I think it's cutting edge really for districts in Washington state. More than a few who are just saying thank you for making everything we did this year relevant. I saw some students realize that water mattered more than they thought it did. Environmental science, uh, sometimes we focus a lot on the doom and gloom. Difficult to instill hope in students, but I think some of the work that we've been doing through this fellowship is focusing on instilling that hope in students. And I see that come out in their work, um, not just in class, but outside of the classroom too. So being part of this teacher fellows program has really given me a dedicated avenue to doing this kind of work that I really want to do in my class. Otherwise, it's really now become kind of a backbone of my curriculum. I came in not knowing a lot about water stuff. It wasn't what I studied. So I didn't know much in general, let alone have specific resources about local examples of snowpack and water for my students. So the specific resources that were pushed out to us was super valuable to help me make the learning relevant because when you can make the learning relevant, the kids are always more engaged. So that was very helpful for me. I think some of the things that come to the top as far as what benefits have I gained, uh, the time has been huge. Having the time to uh, work on my curriculum, work on implementation, even have time to collaborate with my colleagues um, from local schools, even my colleague here in the building, that, that time's been really valuable. And just hearing from other people's experiences, hearing what's working in some classes, what isn't working in others, and being able to, uh, yeah, just chat, collaborate with uh, colleagues around the, uh, around the area. Another thing that I've really benefited from is the support and the mentorship, um, being able to have meetings one-on-one -on -one with the sustainability ambassador staff, um, with some of the students, getting feedback about what's working, what isn't, that's been really beneficial too. What I've really loved about um, this this specific teacher's fellowship is the guest speakers that we've had. Um, I really love the economist, which is kind of funny when I teach science, but the economist from the Cascade Water Alliance, he brought some really cool data. I was able to then talk to my students in class about these real life applications of the things that we've talked about. Like there's this place in Seattle that has all these really cool green features and it was stuff that I didn't know about. So I know I'm confident my students didn't know about it either. And so that's just what I've really loved and appreciated about all the things you put on, but specifically this one. So in terms of being a teacher fellow for sustainability ambassadors, uh, there's always the value of working with a cohort. There's all the, always the value of working with peers. In a classroom environment, you have your four walls. Uh, you feel somewhat constrained by that. You have your 30 students. But to be able to work together, not only with those students and to give a vision of what we're going to do beyond the classroom, say in impact projects and the like, a lot of the benefit that comes from that is allowing you to think outside of the box. And with what we're looking at for sustainability, for climate, for all of that work, uh, out-of-the-box thinking is, is very necessary. So I think it's been very rewarding in that way. There's these aha moments of like, oh, like we're not just doing this for the sake of getting a grade. Like this is actually real life and I can make a difference in the world and really helping them understand that they can make a difference and there's these people that are doing it. Um, I thought it was really valuable. I had a student at the end who build out their impact project. They looked at the water they saved just in a few minutes in the shower. And then we have them do the math of, okay, well, how many students are at our school? What if everyone in the school did this? What if everyone in the community did this? And it got to like billions of gallons or something. And they were sitting with me and they just said, wow, that really is a difference. And they saw for the first time when I'd have a, had a conversation with this student that it actually does matter. And there's a reason to care about sustainability and seeing how their actions actually can go big scale and have an impact. We have a way in education of really putting things in like a hermetic box. Like this is the school world and the outside world is there. And we can't do that with climate change. Like this is, um, this is the moment and young people are vital in that moment, not only to be informed, but to, um, to galvanize us adults to do something. I've had students who have taken what we learned about in class and really run with it. What I see is this stuff works. We're talking about these things that are so hard to talk about, but our students are able to take 
these things that we're learning about and feel empowered to do something, to make an impact. I feel like that's been some of the biggest growth I've seen in my students. And it's interesting because maybe I teach them as ninth graders, 10th graders, but they'll come back later on in a second or third year of the course and they'll remember some of these things that we've done. Oh, I remember when we were talking about water conservation in class and how I should take shorter showers and those things stick with them throughout the years. And what's even more interesting is I know it sticks with their families too because I know the students are having conversations with their families because they tell me. They tell me, this is what we're talking about at the dinner table. This is what my mom couldn't believe it when I told her how important it is for us to take our own bags. Now we do it every single time. So I'm not only am I seeing that empowerment, I'm also seeing that change and students are proud of that change. And they're proud to tell me that, hey, we've learned it from here.